the corner of that field is there. Just along that uh, tree See, line there. It's that way round. Okay. And we are here. So, nice. so David saw, or oh, sorry, Mark saw the figure, the two figures walking that way. One of which had his arms up in the air. So they were right by this spot here. Yeah. yeah. Originally, Mark was playing with his friends in in the estate, and somebody shouted, "Oh, look, there's a fine saucer coming down!" And they, they ran to the gate, and he actually saw in that over there somewhere something coming down slowly. Mm -hmm. A white object. Um, Another witness said it was oval, coming down. And David came into the field and he saw these two figures walking across the field. And he was only 100 yards away, so he had a pretty clear view, but because of the diminishing light, he couldn't remember noticing the legs. Okay, we're on location, and Emlyn's going to now explain us this map here that uh, explains the layout of where okay. we are. The corner of that field is there. Just along that uh, tree See, line there. It's that way round. Okay. And we are here. So, nice. so David saw, or sorry, Mark saw the figure, the two figures walking that way. One of which had his arms up in the air. So they were right by this spot here. Emlyn and Mike are going to try and reenact the path that these two, the two humanoid figures, two humanoid figures were walking when they were in the field that day. So off you go, fellas. So, this is roughly the path that they took, moving away from Mark at that time. Yes, yeah, smile boys! <laughs> Do you describe what they were wearing? It was all grey suits. <laughs> All grey suits, completely covering the head, and but he, he couldn't remember seeing the head or the legs. He could only sort of. It was at dusk, so there was diminishing light. Okay, so so parts of the <coughs> upper body then. He, he couldn't. He couldn't describe the legs or the head. He couldn't remember it. Um, Just basically, they were wearing clothes that were not normal attire for this area, were they? Well, yeah, absolutely. Not to mention uh, travelling in a vehicle. In with a UFO coming down on that. Yeah, line. not travelling in a vehicle you would expect to see on a road or a field. Yeah. And Pat Owen saw three figures in the corner of that field walking that way and then turning and going that way. Okay, this is uh, Mrs. Patricia Owen who saw the saw something from her bedroom window. Hello. Pat or Patricia? Pat. Pat. Yeah. What is our Pat? Can you tell us exactly what you saw? Over there, the, the taller one. The tall one in the hedge, yeah? Yeah, behind there. Uh, I don't know what, there were humans walking up, up the hill here. In, in the other field? Yeah, yeah. other field. Yeah. The field a bit better, yeah. yeah? What do these figures look like? I don't know, only see the behind them. Yeah? About oh, over seven foot. Seven foot? Yeah. What, what were they wearing? Like a silver suit. Silver suit? Yeah. Right, and what speed were they walking? Were they walking fast or slow? Like we do. Just like we do? Yeah. Oh, the other thing is, I forgot to mention, um, a lot of cows and horses were disturbed by the object. Hmm. Uh, do you think that's Mark, maybe... Mark actually saw cows actually running away. The cows, the cows in the field then. They were running away from them. Yeah. Cows are running away. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's uh, what we heard about that, yeah. And what about the positioning of them as they walked? What were they like in, in relation to each other? Well, one was there, one was here, and one was about, about from there. So there's like. Yeah. Me, like in a, in a group, was it? Or yeah. In a, in a line? Yeah. I understand a lot of children in the plane out saw the object, an object coming down in the yeah. sky. Yeah. They're all grown up now, they moved from from Sacramento. Did you see the object coming down? No. 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 Did, did they tell you where the object was that they saw coming down? Well, loads saw it in the square. 
Well, the children were in the square. And yeah. people. And where was the object? That they saw? I don't know. I just, yeah. uh, in the sky, just fell over. Pat Owen, who lived in that house, uh, heard the kids came up to her. She was standing outside the house and said, "Oh, there's a flying saucer." And she ran into the house upstairs, and then she, that's when she saw uh, the three tall men walking parallel to a hawthorn hedge, which is here. That's that's hawthorn. Uh, and she she observed them for two minutes, uh, walking side by side up an inc inclined field, which is that field there. I mean, again, in there, she doesn't say, "Oh, it was just a farmer or kids messing around." This is definitely something you don't see every day, especially oh, yeah. in your local I mean, area. RAF Valley is not that far behind, but far away. People in the area are familiar with seeing military aircraft and helicopters flying around. So, makes you think. Hmm. And the two boys were living here, ran up, was talking to his, their mother. Mm. And I went upstairs with my daughter and then saw I didn't see the, the silver thing, only the, the after people, whatever they were, yeah. walking up. Mm. And then I went out. And then we get back, there were helicopters and police everywhere. So the military were. Yeah. In the area. Yeah, yeah. You, you went out to meet your husband, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they came back and... No way I was in the house. The place was full of commotion. Yeah. yeah. It reminds me of Broadhaven to a, a degree because uh, humanoids had been seen in a field. Hmm. And it's similar, very similar. Similar in what way? What do you... Uh... Well, it's like in um, wearing suits and being seen in a field. Uh, like the one in Broadhaven was just up from Haven 4 Hotel. Well, that was a similar case, that was in a field. Timeline, 8.15, Mark Hesketh saw the light descending. 2021, he saw the two figures walking across the field. Six foot tall. All right then, boys, so Mike just made a valid point when we were doing that little reenactment, that if this is the direction they turn towards, the most likely direction they were heading is towards maybe, there's a gate just down by there. So that's most likely the direction they were heading. Probably, you know, most likely back to their craft or means of transport for that day. All right, so this is roughly the field where the witnesses said they saw the craft, is it? Or the yeah. lights that, yeah. the lights that had that white bullet shape. Uh, Came down. It's behind the, behind the oh, that's right. Yeah, they said they saw something coming down, and it was bullet shaped. And behind this is the, roughly where this is roughly where it was. One witness, a boy, twelve years old, Alien Williams. And this eight, was eight o'clock in the evening. Okay. He saw a circular craft emitting a bright light descending. Fifteen minutes later, this is when Mark Hesketh and his friends saw this bullet shaped bright white light with a glowing red band around the perimeter with red lights across the, the breadth of the object. Near, nearing ground level, it, you notice it had two protrusions, one each side, landing behind trees, which would have been those trees there. It was in that Okay, that just direction. in the distance, sir. Yeah. At the same time as, as that, uh, a Patricia Parry, who was 27, living in the estate, saw an oval light, silver white, descending and revolving slowly. Uh, Moving off to the southwest and descending slowly. So she probably saw the same object. Did you see any um, in the days afterwards? Was, did you hear any noises, uh, aircraft or any Can't remember. activity? It was to close the windows about six o'clock every night after that. Did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your husband told me you were quite shaken up with the incident. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that before. There was a lot of military activity at, uh, in the two or three days following it. Well, so this is another case this where... This was the on 1st of September in the evening, and on the early morning of the 3rd of September, there was a loud explosion heard. Again, another the explosion. Witness, a man who didn't want to give his name at the time. So, uh... If we just clarify helicopters something... Helicopters and lots of activity happening yeah. down there. Yeah, if we just clarify something there, we've um, seen a lot of cases now, all totally different from each other, but a couple of similarities and things that correspond. Military, loud explosions, yeah. and lights in the sky, and... Occasionally, you know, you see um, people, maybe, strange people walking in the field, but what it all means, who knows, but 
Well, it, 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 it's not something that is something random. There is definitely a pattern to it all, isn't it? There's a good chance that back 40 years ago, some of these houses over there wouldn't have been built. You know, they look... Oh, yeah, that's a good point. You know, so it'd be less, less people living around you. Oh, well, you're pretty old, they do. Well, those over there, they look quite new. The ones, the two, that one there, that white one there, that's new. The rest of them could have been there. We were talking yeah. 78, it's not ancient history. Yeah. And there were some investigators come to visit you. Yeah. After, afterwards. Yeah, people for, uh, so a solicitor from America came. Really? Yeah. Solicitor? Hmm. What did he ask about? He was interested in UFOs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are, we, are we the first ones to bother you after the event? No, oh. no, no, no. Well, there's been a few of the years. Oh, yeah, there? slums. Oh. Yeah. Uh, they made the film a few years ago. A girl yeah. living, living here now. She was in the film and she was trying to act in the parts of the. The kids who saw it. Oh, right. Yeah. Was that a British film crew? I don't know. Uh... Do you remember the title of the film? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to look that up then. It's 40 years ago, no? Fuck. Because it was yeah, because... 1st of September. Yeah, yeah. Long time. Yeah, I've got notes this year. The fact you came out on a cold okay. morning to see us. Thanks. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks.